Hey there, son of Libra. This is Kim. I'm here to do your reading for you for your next 48 hours. This is just going to be a quick reading general. Next 48 hours for Libra spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Just bringing in some messages. The issue being the king of pentacles, crossing being the two of wands in reverse. So the, the king of pentacles as the issue would be stability if not at um running a business or the person over like a business it could be that or it could be like a husband or um somebody doesn't have to be like male or female but it could be the person that's over the finances on the domestic on the home front is what i'm trying to say so it can be that um king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn Two of Wands in reverse is loss of drive or motivation. Could it be loss of job or, um, yeah, could be something like that. Or just loss of motivation. Okay, at the root of everything is the Lover's card. That's um, a card of Gemini. It's usually regarding like a crossroads in your life. Making decisions. It can be about um, feeling your soulmate energy. You can be talking about bringing your soulmate energy like to you, like communicating with your soulmate, or it can just be about a big decision. And partnership. It usually represents good decisions too when it's in the upright. This decision might be to leave something behind with the Six of Swords. Leaving something behind because it's like you've got to get out now. You've got to leave quick. And that's in your past. So something in the past had you leaving a situation behind quickly. Okay, the present energy. The Hermit in reverse. So um, that would definitely be socializing out with um the public it would be yeah coming out of isolation i think it, it might be might be also not wanting to be well alone like not wanting to be alone near future near future Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So Nine of Pentacles is about being independent. Maybe an entrepreneur just like this person right here. This could be an advisor for doing something by yourself, like running a business. This is financial windfall coming in next to you know, a time when you didn't think anything was new was going to happen or come your way and things didn't look hopeful. That's like when it comes, right? When things don't look hopeful. You could be doing something yourself. If those of you that are out there are looking for someone to come into your life, you know, to initiate something loving with you, might um, just because of the King of Cups being here. But... It's really important to keep your moods balanced. You can be the master of your mood, being the master of your mood, master of your um, emotions, even keeled, balanced, a loving person. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces too. Okay, what's in the environment? 10 of Wands in the reverse. So it may have been hopeless that somebody was actually going to come and help and help somebody else release a burden, but that's exactly what happened. Some burdens were released. Hopes or fears. Four of swords in the reverse. It's, it's having to uh, fight when you're not really feeling well, not feeling up to it, 
or maybe seriously feeling pretty ill. Four of Swords in the reverse. So what's the outcome or the projected outcome? Okay, ending or closure to something. Ending or closure to something. Death, transformation, King of Pentacles, challenge being the Queen of Pentacles, crossing it. So the money uh, situation to have enough for everybody to be like everybody being very comfortable money wise, very comfortable living lifestyle you want to day by day. That could be the matriarch of the family. And then we have ending and closure. So it might be an ending or closure with a matriarch of the family or a complete transformation. Could be a complete transformation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and um, yeah, being paired with. So tra transforming the way that you live and the way that you like to live. There's an issue right now underlying this, the lovers, the energy of these big questions and crossroads of not having enough communication with someone or something about something or someone. All right, so here's your angel, angel numbers. 25, I am intelligent. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both a conscious and subconscious level. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. Okay, then we have 27. Your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life wanting to leave the community better than how you found it 27 and then 222 two, two on the bottom trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you're nourishing them with words feelings and actions i am balanced okay so let's get let's get some clarifying first for For this outcome, actually, yeah, let's do it on the outcome. Well, there's that Ten of Wands again. So there's Ten of Wands in the reverse. Here's Ten of Wands upright. By the no hope, feeling no hope here in near future is only because of fearing that it'll be too much work or that something would be too much work. I don't think it is. Look. <laughs> You end up getting many, many, many options to choose from for your pentacles. So for your finances, a really big path opening up for you to have increase in your life. Definitely live in the way that you want, transforming this financial situation. And <laughs> just and you're so happy here in this picture. You have so much to choose from. So it's beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. I have two of cups on the bottom of the deck. It's not quite in reverse, but it almost is. So some of you are dealing with the situation in, in where this lovers is representing good connection. And then the others, well, you're on the other side of that since it's not you know, up nor down. All right, guys, let's get your um, fortune cookie next. And... And then maybe some fairy dust and wrap up your reading. Yeah, <laughs> love life. How many options maybe in your love life? Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Um, personal riches, small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get-rich schemes. And fairy, and that's good advice for anybody. Avoid those get-rich schemes. Oh, 
Oh, good. <laughs> this is a, the portal, since the portal is open now. Portals, where do we play in nature? That's where the garden gate will take you there. And keep going. The world at times is big and loud, but we'll make sure that you're safe and sound. And you know what? Let's do one of these too. One of these entrepreneur cards. There. Meditate. <laughs> Even with the entrepreneur card, it says meditate. Practice meditation to connect deeply with spirit. Visualize your next steps and then take inspired action towards your dreams and goals. And we'll do one more. Oh, we got a few more. Right? Copywriting. Copywriting is the art of persuasion. Learn how to craft words and to speak to the heart of your ideal clients. Elevate. New mindset, new results. Elevate your mindset if you want different results. If you keep thinking and acting the same way, nothing will change in your business. And analyze. Research your market and analyze your competition. Decide how you're going to make better offers and provide more value than anybody else. There you go. Sending you love and light. Bye, guys. Thanks.